Well, thank you for coming in, Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thanks for coming on. In our last lesson on Have You Deceived Your Children, uh, the title of it, a prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. A simple person goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. And we got down to direct your children onto the path, the right path. And when they are older, they will not leave it. That's pretty important. If you direct your children onto the wrong path, for which you'll be accountable for, when they are older, you might want them to leave it. You might have a whole lifestyle change. You might come into the light. And guess what? You can't turn them around. I've had girlfriends like this where they've come to the light and they've gone, "Uh uh-oh, there's a better way. There's a better life. I'm going to stay with Jay. And they get torn between the darkness and the light. And guess what wins? The darkness. The darkness. They get pulled back into the darkness. They get triangulated. They get... Um, inebriated they get the devil's lettuce medications and they go back to the dark that's making this true isn't it when they're older they will not leave it you have to understand that as a man and a woman if you're with someone that's dysfunctional it's very likely that they won't come out of it that's not being giving up all hope I'm just saying it's very likely that they won't come out of it. They just won't come out of it. Direct your child in onto the right path. And when they are older, they will not leave it. And if you don't, oh well, if you direct them onto the wrong path, be careful. If they come into the light later and you've got to give an explanation, that may not possibly work out in your favor and you can watch the last video to find out just as the rich rule the poor and we're all under this one so the borrower is servant to the lender and I lived a life debt free and I married a woman my second marriage and now I'm in debt for the rest of my life Oh, well, until I sell the house, which I have no intention of doing. Um, Be careful who you marry. Um, I was completely duped. I was completely deceived. And it was a horrible experience, an experience I wouldn't wish on anyone. Just as the rich rule over the poor, so the borrower is servant. To the lender. A lot of drug addicts get credit. They get what's called credit. I don't know what they call it today, but in my day, it was called credit. Can I have someone credit? And they can't pay back the credit, and the next thing they're in trouble. They're just in big trouble. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster. And this is something that we need to consider when we're trying to set people up. You'll get people trying to triangulate your relationship and they start psychologically abusing the family member that you're involved with. They assassinate your character and who you are. Oh, this is happening everywhere. Don't underestimate it. Because these adult children are so... They're so enmeshed with their parents and the parents with the children that when somebody comes along that the parent or child might be interested in, you've got this family war. And they start to tell lies. They start to make up stories and fantasies and delusions. And my advice to you is don't get involved. Because once you give um, attention to somebody's delusion, then you're giving it authority. You're buying into it. I've had a couple of relationships now where the children have become 
jealous of who I am and the way in which their mother's finally getting a fair go. And they've become hostile. They've become vendetted. They've become destructive. And they've ruined the relationships eventually. I know how it all plays out now. I'm ready for the next one if I have another one. I don't know if I... The way I feel right now, I don't think I will. When you love people and they just can't get their act together, it's just a headache that you don't need. And you'll find these family members will do whatever they need to to get their position back with the person that you're involved with. Could be a, a mother-in-law. Could be a father-in-law. Could be the child, children. They're all different combinations that work and play out. And then those who plan injustice will harvest disaster. I've had them defame me. I've had them try and set me up. I've had them try and oh, remove me. I've had them threaten me. I've had them try and make me lose relationships, jobs, you name it. This is how bent and twisted the masses are and how bad the parenting is. And the parents couldn't stop it. The parents didn't stop it. What's that tell you? Does it tell you you're in with the right crowd? I don't know. I really don't know. But the rich ruling over the poor... This is where people become fascinated with the narcissist. They think they're rich. They think they've got a lot to offer, the covert narcissist and narcissist, but they haven't. And you make yourself poor by not staying aware, by not staying awake. And you're feeding the ego, you're feeding the personality disorder the, the, the sinful nature and everything that comes with it in that person a lot of children get lifted up now they get praised even if they do wrong what sort of parenting is that? that's not going to help anyone doesn't help anyone we're not calling things as they are and women are fascinated with narcissism they love the frill they love the toxicity until it turns on them and they're being abused and left and cheated on and lied to. Nobody gets used to that. No. And they end up poor. They end up feeling like they're unworthy, but they've done it to themselves. Some of these people have been with these people for 20 years, and they call them their narcissist, my narcissist. But they fooled themselves. They allowed the narcissist to rule over them. I've had women like this and they haven't, as soon as they've gotten to the point where they're completely exposing themselves, they get their marching orders, blaming me for things I haven't done and crap like that. I can remember when my second wife was starting to fail, the mask was slipping off. I was asleep. I was sound asleep. Asleep. As, 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 I'm as true as I'm standing here, I was sound asleep. And she come in and she go, and you're not, you're being hostile to me. I thought she was actually, she was, she was medicated, and she caused an argument. I just walked out. I, I just walked out. I, I, I do not do toxicity, and neither should you. You do not let the egotistical. sinful nature inside someone make you poor you don't make someone that's rich that that shouldn't be rich rich by you becoming poor psychologically i've had them come here pissed i've had them come here drugged i've had them with their boyfriends dropping them off it's no 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 you do not make someone rich in their person if they're not you help that person to develop and become a better person but you don't make someone bigger than what they really are you're destroying them 
and as far as the borrower being servant to the lender. This is how narcissists psychologically get you. They keep you in a state where you feel like you haven't invested as much into the relationship as what they have when they haven't invested anything um, substantial at all, at all. Their investment's limited. There's always a minimal empty aspect to it. But they make you the borrower. You, there's always this sense that you've got to run after them and chase them and do more to get their acceptance. You've made them richer psychologically than what they are. And these people aren't blind. They're experts on how to read weak people. They target weak people. They want genuine empathetic people so that they can bend and twist them and destroy them. And a lot of these covert female narcissists know how to play it, but they don't know what they look like when you're watching them do it. They don't know that you can see what they're doing but they know what they're doing. I'm going to say that again. They don't know that you can see what they are doing. They think they're covert. But you do know what they're doing. That's their ego deceiving them. They have no self... I'm convinced they have no self-awareness and they have no awareness of where you're at in the relationship. Until it's too late. My second wife texted me shortly after she asked if she could come back. Sorry, Jason, for what my children and I have done to you. I know I can't come back, but if you ever change your mind, please let me know. And I went and got help. When somebody sends you a text like that, you know something went wrong beyond that person. She gave in to flying monkeys. She gave in to her children. And she lost the relationship. <sighs> the rich ruling over the poor? No. Never feed somebody's ego. It's unfair on them. And it's unfair on you. And if you know someone is being wrong to you, bring them down where they belong. Confront the issue. See what the response is going to be. And if it's not positive, that's the red flag. That's the, this person ain't going to work with you. This person ain't going to be there when you need them. If you tell this person to go, they will disappear. Because they think you're the borrower and they're the lender. And usually their decisions haven't been that way. Their life choices haven't been that way. These are the people that walk on thorny, treacherous roads. But whoever values life, avoid it. They are the thorny, treacherous people. And we're trying to make them wise when they're not. You have to look under the surface. You have to see the thorns between the roses and the treachery between the, the sacrifices that these people make for the relationship. No. You have to be awake. The rich rule over the poor. And the borrower is servant to the lender. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Thank you for joining me. And bye for now.